Because of the Nigerian constitution, the Nigerian constitution, that is the 1999 constitution, has its different chapters. And each of the chapters has subsections and parts. Now, the prelude of the chapter states, having firmly and solemnly resolved to live in unity and harmony and indissoluble sovereign nation under God, dedicated to the promotion of inter Africa solidarity, world peace, international cooperation, and understanding, and to provide for a constitution for the purpose of promoting the good government and welfare of all persons in our country on the principles of freedom, equality, and justice, and for the purpose of consolidating the unity of our people, do hereby make enhance and to give ourselves the following constitution. Now, the contents in the chapter one of the Nigerian constitution say that the supremacy of the constitution and the state of the federation and federal capital territory is Abuja. The chapter two highlights the fundamental objectives and directive principle of state policy. The chapter three focuses on citizenship, also highlights issues relating to citizens. The chapter four represents the fundamental human rights. The chapter five highlights how the legislature of the federal and state governments will be established and how they will operate and also function. The chapter six makes provision for the federal executive. It also itemizes all the conditions attached to the office of the president and also election tenure and disqualification. The chapter seven provide the judicature that is comp the composition of the judicial arm of government the supreme court which is the highest court in the country followed by the court of appeal the sharia court of appeal and the state and customary courts of appeal and we also have the high court and so on the chapter 8 makes provision for the federal capital territory abuja and also presents other supplementary provisions now, the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that is the promulgation, the decree, said those. The chapter 1 also gives information about the general provision. The chapter 2 provides the fundamental objective and directive principle of state policy. The chapter 3 talks about the citizenship. The chapter 4 talks about the fundamental rights of the human and the citizens. The chapter 5 talks about the legislature. The chapter 6, the executive. The chapter 7, the judiciary. And the chapter 8 talks about the federal capital territory, Abuja, and general supplementary provision. The first schedule talks about the state of the federation. The second schedule talks about the legislative powers. The third schedule, the federal executive bodies and state executive bodies. The fourth schedule talks about the functions of local government councils. The fifth schedule talks about the code of conduct for public officers. And also, the sixth schedule talks about the election tribunal, while the seventh schedule talks about the oaths. This will be the end of our civic education class for today. Make sure you like, comment, and share, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel on the Lens City. Thank you.